Skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Chatting Skeletons episode. So this episode is called, I'm in a TikTok video. So, okay, I would like to start out by saying I do not have a TikTok. I never had a Vine, and I don't have a TikTok. The only person I know who has a TikTok is Harley Baby. As you all know, um, I stopped working at Knott's in early November. Well, I still keep in touch with some of my coworkers. Actually, only one just recently has contacted me. But I was sitting on my bed one day and I received a message from one of my coworkers. I called him my unbiological brother because we had the same last name, but we had no relation whatsoever. So he had messaged me on Snapchat and said the following. Well, he sent me... The, the video and I said what the fuck I guess I'm on TikTok, TikTok now LMAO and I unfortunately cannot post the video here because it's not my account and I don't have permission from the person to do it however um it's a video that someone took of accelerator taking off and I'm at cubbies with my ears plugged so I don't hear it and it's hilarious because I've never really been captured like that before. Like, I mean, I've taken pictures with people who have visited the park before. Like, when I was a games attendant, I had um, two women come up to me and ask if they could take a picture with me. And I said, sure, why not? So they took a picture with me. I've had people who have videotaped me. I've had people who have... I mean, you're at an amusement park. When you work at an amusement park, you are bound to get filmed and posted somewhere. But I have never personally seen myself get posted anywhere. And what I appreciate is in the video, they didn't actually make fun of me. They were making fun of, like, a kid that was sitting next to the person who owned the account. But personally, like, I never knew that happened, which was crazy. Because apparently, like, and then I had another person message me the same video that said, you're TikTok famous. I'm like, no, I'm not. If I was TikTok famous, I think I'd have a little bit more followers than I do now. I mean, I have 21 of you, which is awesome. But I don't think, like... I know it's like, oh, this, like, it doesn't mention my name or anything, but TikTok famous, I think you're only TikTok famous if your name is the profile that you uploaded the video from. Anyway, I'm just speaking nonsense at this point. But yeah, it was so weird to see myself in a TikTok video without realizing it, because a lot of people like to film Accelerator taking off, so it was kind of normal that, you know, videos might pop up here and there, but I had never been in a TikTok video before. <laughs> nor do I ever really choose to. But the same, one of the people who had messaged me the video said like, oh yeah, I've been in a few and they've like mentioned my name and shit. I'm like, yeah, well you probably have a TikTok. I don't. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, that's just a short story I wanted to share because it was so freaking weird just randomly getting that message. And again, I really appreciated the fact that the person didn't make fun of me because there was one time in high school, um, I was sitting on my boyfriend at the time's lap and I had my best friend next to us. Someone took a picture of all three of us and said, when you know you're the side chick, and posted it to Twitter, and this person was stupid enough to actually have their first and last name as their, like, username and below it, so we were able to go to the principal to report them, and I think they got their Twitter, like, deleted and, like, just, like basically suspended, like, they weren't allowed to use it anymore, and I think they got, like, a couple weeks worth of detention or something. I don't even know who this chick was, mind you. Like, I had no idea who she was, what she wanted. And I even looked her up in the yearbook. I was like, I don't freaking know you. So why are you doing this kind of shit? Like, I don't see how people benefit from that. Like, yeah, you can make memes about people all day long. But at the end of the day, it's like, what do you gain from this? It's not like you're going to get internet infamy from posting one meme. You know what I mean? Like, some people are actually like that. Like, I know with Grumpy Cat, she became a whole thing, and I know, like, a lot of the original memes with the pictures, they became a whole thing. But no one really knows the, their actual names or what the state of the thing was when they uploaded it. So, I mean, it just, it never made sense to me. I mean, I have iFunny, so I look at memes all day. But what do you benefit out of making fun of somebody? You're not going to get the fame. They are. They're going to be the ones who get the fame or get the credit, you're not going to be getting it unless it's you in the picture. I'm just saying, like, I don't see how people benefit from this. But anyways, I just wanted to share the fact that I'm in a TikTok video. Um, I can, 
I, again, I can't show you the video, but uh, if you find any accelerator video on TikTok with a girl in pigtails at the cubby station covering her ears, that's me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.